Welcome to the waitlisting for a class video tutorial. In this video, we will show you the basic process of how to waitlist a course that is closed, how to opt in for waitlist text messaging notifications, and how to add the class once you've received notification. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to the registration page. From My Western, select the web for You icon to access your web for You menu. Next, click on Students, and then Registration to be brought to your registration landing page. From here, select Register for Classes and then select the term you would like to register for in the drop-down menu and press Continue. This brings you to your Register for Classes menu, where you will find any classes you have already registered for listed in your summary. In order to waitlist for a course, start by adding a closed course you would like to waitlist to your summary. You can do so using any of the three options of Find Classes, Enter CRNs, or Plans. Once the course has been added to your summary and is pending, Open the Action drop-down menu. If the course is closed and a waitlist is available, you will see three options. Web Registered, Remove, and Waitlist Request. To waitlist, select Waitlist Request, and then Submit. The status of the course will now read Waitlisted. If you would like to remove yourself from the waitlist, change the action to Delete and press Submit once more. Let's say you tried to register for a course not knowing it was full. After you change the action to Web Registered and press Submit, an error message will pop up notifying you that the course is full and the course status will change to Errors Preventing Registration. However, you can still waitlist the course from your summary by opening the Action drop-down menu again selecting Waitlist Request, and then Submit. Now you are successfully waitlisted for a course. Any waitlisted courses will appear on your schedule calendar view alongside your registered courses. Please be sure to confirm the status of your courses by checking the status column in your summary section. Even though waitlisted classes appear on your calendar view with green check marks, this does not mean that you are registered for the class. Double check which classes have registered status in your summary and monitor how many total credit hours you are currently registered for in the bottom right of your screen. To see your current position on the waitlist, select Schedule Details in the bottom left section of your screen. Here, you will find detailed information about all of the courses you are currently registered or waitlisted for in the selected term. Scroll through your list of courses to locate the course title and number of the waitlisted course. Next, click on the drop-down arrow next to the class to reveal additional details. Here, you will see a list of information including the status of the course, class days and time, and your waitlist position. The number listed is your current position on the waitlist. If you are on the waitlist and a seat becomes available, you will be notified via your Western email. You also have the option to opt in for text message notifications. To do this from your web for you landing page, click on the Student tab, then select Text Messaging for Waitlist Requests. From here, click on the Yes button next to Registration Waitlist text message and click Submit. Now you will receive a text message in addition to an email when a seat becomes available in your waitlisted course. It is also a good idea to make sure that your cell phone number is up to date in the My Profile section in the Personal Information tab from the web for You landing page. Once you have received an email or text message alert that a spot has opened up for you off the waitlist, you must register for the course yourself. To do so, go back to your Register for Classes page in the Registration tab. In your summary, open up the Action drop-down menu next to your waitlisted class, select Web Registered, and press Submit. The status of the course should now read Registered, and your total credit hours should be updated accordingly. 
Now you know how to waitlist a course. Let's review some general tips and reminders about the waitlisting process. During phase one and two of registration, you will have 24 hours to register for a class after you are notified that a seat has become available off of the waitlist. During phase three, which is the first five days of classes, the waitlist notification period is reduced to 12 hours. So make sure you are monitoring your Western email and text message notifications. If you miss the deadline, you must re-add yourself to the waitlist if you still wish to register for the course. You may sign up for as many waitlists as you choose. There is no limit. If there is a class that you really need to take, you can also sign up for the waitlist for multiple sections of the same course. You can even waitlist for courses that have time conflicts with the courses you are currently registered for that term. If you do this and get a spot off of the waitlist, just be sure to drop the conflicting course from your schedule before you register for the waitlisted course. Once your registration has been finalized, we encourage you to remove yourself from all other waitlists so other students who are waitlisted may have the opportunity to register for available classes in a timely manner. Thank you for watching our Waitlisting for a Class video tutorial. We encourage you to explore the rest of our website and online advising videos for more information on choosing and declaring a major, online registration, and more.